60 minutes of our hearts. Grit and courage. Let's play netball! This is match number 23 of the M1 Asian Netball Championships 2018 between Malaysia and Sri Lanka. First up, give it up for Sri Lanka. Here's your starting seven. Goal shooter, Tajani Sivalingo. So we welcome you all to this uh M1 Asian Netball Competition, the championships in 2018, proving to be Go really attack. exciting. And there, Hasita in the spotlight, Mendes. is one of the stars of the show. She has been absolutely amazing as goal shooter. Tarjini Sivalingam, 92.4% of the shots have gone in, and nobody is able to stop her at the moment. Really, really tough. Center. Gaya Anthony Amara Watson. Sri Lanka is the 18 year old Hasita Mendes. And then wing attack, we've also wing got the uh, Dula. Winnie Tilaki. And then at centre, it's uh, Gayanja Amawansa. Goal defense. And then at wing Gayani defense, Bisanayanko. Uh, Nauchali Rajapaksa. And uh, a goal defense. And goalkeeper. It's Chaturangi Chayasuriya. And that goalkeeper bringing up the rear is Chaturangi Jayasuriya. That is your starting seven. It's Joining a big on the team. Court, uh, Darshika, they Abe can Wikram. transition Tilini well. And once Suripa they get Dramagator, that ball, Tula aerially in into, the, into the zone, Coaches into the circle. I tell you what, Siva Lingam just gobbles him up and delivers him into the net. It's a, an extraordinary experience Dr. if you have to be against her. Once again, please her. give it up for She's Shri Lanka. from the left. And an absolute giant in every Their respect. opponents, Malaysia! This is going to be a big challenge yes, for the Malaysians. The uh, defending Goal champions, shooter. winners oh, last wrong. year of the Southeast Asian Games. Goal and they have a great Goal team, Rishma. very fast. They love to speed. They Wing love attack. to move Goal. very, very Goal. well into the areas. Most effective into attack, and I have to say, they are very, very impressive. And Najwa is uh, spectacular, actually, the 21-year-old. And, of course, Karishma also has been very effective. Much better yesterday at the latter half of that game against Hong Kong. And goalkeeper, Noor Azula. Just quickly moved down. Centre is uh, Norfahia. Wing defence is Laila. Goal defence is the captain, Shafai Sli. Uh, goalkeeper is Noor Azila. And the wing attack is uh, Paul Give it up They're a formidable team. But they haven't the really come to, to terms or grips with the idea of Legend having such an enormous goal against well, them. Sure. We shall see. We've got the, uh, the officials will be making their appearance in just a couple of moments. But before they do, let me give you a fantastic introduction to be fun. It's fantastic to have you here. Former Singapore player for 2005 to 2015. Goal attack Asian champs. She tells me her most memorable time was in 2012 when they beat Sri Lanka by one single goal to win the championship. Yep, with Tajini back as the shooter in <laughs> Sri Lanka's team. 
<laughs> right. Well, here we go. It's Malaysia from right to left on your screen. And they will be looking for a quick attack. But I tell you, it's not just the, the attackers. The defenders are very fast as well for Sri Lanka, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Um, I like how the goalkeeper actually comes out for a deflection. At least it stops the attack down um, at the Malaysian side. Okay, here's the first opportunity to see Anajwa. And she leaves it ultimately to Karishma. Karishma. Karishma is from two and a half meters, makes the first point on the board. But uh, Sri Lanka pick up the center pass. It does boost the Malaysia's team a little bit. So now there's a turnover. Maybe it's because of the first shot by Karishma. It's very impressive. They are very fast. They anticipate well. And here she goes again. Karishma has made again. another one. She's only 18 years old. She was a bit off, uh, off form earlier in the match against Hong Kong yesterday. That they went on to eventually win very easily. And Najwa took the majority of the shots. And here she is again. She will take half a pace forward. Here she goes. Here she makes it. Three love. That's a good start. Yeah. 3-0 to Malaysia. That is really a good start. So Sri Lanka should be doing something right now to make sure they score their first goal of the game. That's all they have to do. Nice take. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Over the top. And, uh, well, the goalkeeper there. She works hard as Azila, there's no doubt about that. But uh, with Shafazliana as well, they are very, very hard-working defenders. But they're going to have their work cut out here. Oui. It's going to be Sri Lanka's ball. So a turnover here, very important one. Yeah, it is nice deflection by Go Attack and she hold it back into the attack line. It's fast ball, it needs to be. Three seconds is all they're allowed to hold possession. But I feel that Malaysia now, they are actually quite patient to fit it into the shooting side. Nice. Oh, 4-1. Yeah. It's 4-1. Three of those to Karishma. Although she's very young, um, you were saying he, um, she's 18 years of age. She actually played in various um, international tournaments. I think last year she participated in the World Youth Netball Championship. Um, did pretty well as I actually watched it live from Facebook. <laughs> right. Okay. Well... Look at the difference between Targini. Yes, it goes up. Targini oh. takes it over the top. But uh, Good try by um, Aziza. Azila. 4-2 yep. is the score. Malaysia have done really well. Their turnovers have been very impressive. They've taken advantage well. Moving nicely up. And oh, that's a great take. Lovely anticipation there. And you have to say that Chaturangi again, Malaysia have won it. Half court possession is very, very good turnover. The Sri Lanka defenders are actually very aerial defenders, so anything that goes over their head, they will go for it. We may see a, a little more court pressing a little bit later on, but certainly at the moment it's all in specific areas they have to move forward very quickly but uh, there's an infringement there what was that contact uh i think it's um yeah obstruction by the wind defense so it's a penalty pass they are very very aggressive uh, ball goes high and once again it's absolutely no problem she's a lefty you can tell she's a left-handed shooter but she doesn't really need to jump very high to retrieve that ball. That's a nice pass. Good work again. Lovely work by uh, Nofariha. She's only quite small. Seems like she's the shortest player yep. for now. She is, but she does move. Okay. Lila is actually, uh, I think, maybe even shorter. But uh, there's a couple of center players for Malaysia who are very, very fast. Very they agile too. Yeah. Unlucky that. Mm. So now I think uh, Malaysia is actually trying to set up a mid-court press. And they are successful. Oh, that's unlucky. That oh. is unlucky. They're, they've held for obstruction there, but it was so, so close. Oh! <laughs> ah. I would love to see the goal attack actually put up the shots too, because um, she's actually in range. She daren't miss, that's the problem. The risk is so high because they know with a 
92.4% success at the moment to Targini. Why risk it? Here's a Karishma, is a game off the rim and away. That's no good. 6 3 Malaysia at the moment. Mm. Should have made it 7. Yeah. The score has been like that for the past two minutes. Good challenge. Yeah. By Fariha. Yeah, she is. She's a little dynamo. Yeah, and we we're saying she's the shortest. Yeah. Love it. Over the top. And still. It's going to be GA's ball. So that will be Hasita Mendes. 20 years old, but uh, there you go. It's not very far to reach, is it? Yeah. It's up to the rim. It is not. So she shouldn't miss at all. 4 6. Malaysia on the attack. Still on the attack. Leaves it there nicely for uh, Mei Fong. There's a quite a bit of hassle between a uh, goalkeeper and goal shooter at the moment. Karishma's there, makes it this time. They are a very fit team, this young Malaysian team, it has to be said, and they really do work all the way through each quarter. Once again, looking for it. That time we'll get another opportunity here with Sri Lanka. Over the top. It must be quite difficult to umpire in such a circumstance, you know. Yeah, you have to see so many parts of the court. Seven players for both sides. Malaysia, they can, obviously, they can beat this Sri Lankan team. That would be good for the local neighbours to have that success, I guess, but... Uh, they need to play a no-mistake netball at the moment. Once they've got the ball, they have to score. This is easy for An Najwa makes it. It's eight. Eight five. Do you notice any difference in strategy in the last seven minutes since we've been playing in terms of uh, the Malaysian attack? Or is it? Is exactly as they absolutely uh, started with, in terms of their uh, their ambition. From they... Malaysia, um, mm. you can actually see that there's a few turnovers at the shooting end. So I think that um, the effort actually comes down from the whole court, like from the goal attack all the way down. They press on. They did a good defense to cause such turnovers. They really are hassling, aren't they? Everywhere. Even that dummy pass was uh, was a hassle. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Good work, 9-5. And the interesting thing here is Malaysia's got the possession from the centre pass. They're finding their way through to the circle very well indeed, and that's 10-5. What a good start this is for Malaysia. Yeah, it is. For Sri Lanka to actually make a change in the momentum, they probably want to have a turnover. So I'm op actually hoping some interceptions to come in. She's not happy with anything that's not absolutely under the basket. There's another retrieve and turnover, and that's a much easier one there for uh, Tarjini. Gosh, well, Malaysia will rule that because uh, having given up earlier, it was an important moment, and again, there's some really solid defending by uh, Chaturangi. Good pickup. That's lovely work. And Najwa, one and a half meters, all oh, around the rim and away, and that is a big mistake. I've said the only way, one of the only ways, I guess, would be that uh, having got the turnover, You've got to convert the opportunity. It is. This is for seven, and they've got the uh, centre pass as well. For her. So, a lot to Pagini. Take a step and shoot it in. Yep, they've got the uh, the centre pass as well. This will bring them back within two if they successfully attack this one. Going over the top. No chance. Gosh, how can you be a goalkeeper in that circumstance? It's really so tough. You probably have to be like two meters too. 
But I think that um, probably what Malaysia defense can do right now is to make sure they force the ball um, somewhere, some error, probably not in the goal third, so that the ball doesn't get into the goal third and just swing it into Pajini. That's gone. Yep. Malaysia have it. An Najwa continues to uh, perform very nicely up front. That's a fast transition for the Malaysians' attack line, but forcing it back. Little lucky there. It was uh, now Chali. Rajapaksha almost grabbed that one, but here is Karishma again. Makes it. It's 12 8. And they have a very important centre pass as well. Some good setting up of the triangles here. Triangle passing is obviously going to be very effective when you're as fast as Malaysia. That's great work for 13. 13 points to 8. Sri Lanka have the centre pass with less than four minutes left in this first quarter. And a little touch. It's kept in. Oh, beautiful work. Absolutely excellent work there by uh, Lila. And again, it's that way. Luck. Well, it's been given. Nigel says. Uh, Contact ball. Yeah, it's going to be Sri Lanka's ball. That was a bit unlucky. Lovely turnover in the centre third from Malaysia. They're being very active. Oh, unlucky again. She's so alive. Chase back. Keep the pressure on Malaysia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's still going to be Sri Lanka's ball. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Over it goes again. She's a long way out. She doesn't like this. Takes that half a step and makes it this time. 9.13. Malaysia have possession. This will be a really good first quarter. Oh, a little touch forward. And that's uh, Karishma picks it up. And now it's going to be An Najwa. Done it. It's 14. Two and a half minutes left. Some exciting stuff. They've missed a couple of opportunities. But the most important thing and the reason why Malaysia are in the lead is because of their very good turnovers in the midcourt. Need some quick support, and that's no good. Yeah. Oh, dear. We haven't seen her make too many mistakes, to be quite honest, but uh, Saif Hasliana will not have enjoyed that. Yeah, she shouldn't have run on. She should just have a one-two landing. Make sure she sees it before she passed. Easy shot again for Targini right under the net. And there, 11. 11-14, and uh, it's back again, possession with Sri Lanka. It's all chest. Oh, that's a bad error. It's all chest, chest pass, but she's going to be penalised for contact. A little bit of pushing. And that will be against Sri Lanka's ball. It's basically chest, chest, chest pass throughout the most of the, the court until... It's into the centre and then it is a big lob towards the goal shooter. That's the tactic. It's a very simple one, isn't it? It is. <laughs> For Malaysia centre pass, they've been relying a lot on Pao Mei Fong to receive it. And Karishma will be able to run into the circle and do her job. Mei Fong is the WA, the wing attack there. And here is Karishma. She's a bit closer, makes it easily. 15-12. Less than a minute, in fact, 42 seconds now. She's not happy even there. It's going to be Malaysia's ball. They've got 37 seconds. Now, this is going to depend a lot on timing. A full court press here for Sri Lanka, but it's not going to work right there. Mm. I thought the keeper is really smart to actually push Tajini out um, further away from her usual shooting range, force her to take a pass from there. Oh, that's a bad power ball, and that really will be... It will be punished. Long ball into the centre, but again that one goes out, but it's a good. Targini once again 
Eight seconds left, and that is a really, really poor piece of play from Malaysia. They should have held on as long as they could, playing it around. There's only one second. That's the hooter. 15-13, Malaysia have taken the uh, first quarter. It could have been significantly Malaysia. better if they converted that opportunity they've just had. Yeah, it is. So, Malaysia, I have to say, their uh, repossession play, their uh, transition play, has been very, very good. Their defense in the center third has been excellent, and they deserve that position. And I have to say, Karishma as well has performed well. Sri Lanka, well, they know they've got the absolutely extraordinary Tarjini up front, but they've not been able to reach her as often as they'd like. Yeah, I thought that both teams actually set up better compared to yesterday, so good job. So, second quarter coming up. Sri Lanka right to left on your screen. There's been some excellent defending. And there's another uh, really disrupting the rhythm of the attack of the Sri Lankans. That's what they need to do. That ball's going right over the top. She's a metre and a half away. But with the steps, she'll bring it back off again and now has a... Much easier opportunity. It'll go over at the top again. There we go. And now right underneath it for 14 points. And she's short, but regathers. Is that her first miss of the game? <laughs> Possibly. So for Sri Lanka, they have a switch in the defending roles. So um. Yeah, it's uh, Chaturangi has changed with uh, 
Gayani. GD to GK. And what's the impact of that then? Obviously, the G GD has got a little bit more freedom. Yep, so probably they are hoping for her to come out to get more intercepts. It's, uh, it's a big effort here. Fariha just uh, trying to uh, upset the rhythm again. It's easy. It's leveled up. No, it's not quite, but she gets the second chance. Over the top, 15 all. And Sri Lanka can take the lead here with this attack. They took a while to get into position, but it's uh, again, it's simple stuff. 16-15, Sri Lanka after being two points behind at the break. And now one in the lead, and that's poor play. That's really poor play. Don't, no need to, uh, to panic. Mei Fong was trying to get rid of it too quickly. Seems like the Sri Lanka team has been uh, reprimanded by the coach and now they did something to bring the score to 3-0 for this quarter. Make that four. Yeah. Well, Malaysia certainly will be a little disappointed here because they've lost possession at the uh, centre as well. So it's actually very crucial if, let's say, there's a turnover and the next will be the opposition centre pass. That's two in a row that is lost in the Malaysian's team. Well, look at this now. That's uh, five points in a row without reply. Malaysia are desperate now for a score. Here is Anajwa makes it. 16-18. Sri Lanka have got the centre pass. That is exactly... Oh, that was a good try. Well, it was, but uh, you can tell immediately they're just getting it down. There wasn't any half-court play around. It was all direct, and the score has suddenly changed around. Oh, that's a good retrieve. And and Najwa makes it this time. 17 19 but again watch this 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 ball is going straight down over the top there we go yeah there's no need to do anything else it's so effective just using three, their strengths just three passes from the center pass well they've turned it right around five extra but that would still be malaysia's ball at the moment looking for support they are being forced to the back yeah so Sri Lanka actually put out a tighter defense compared to the first quarter. So you can see that they actually stopped the penetration. Over the top, a little lucky there. Meter and a half back off the post and that's very good. Nice work for 18-20, but uh, Sri Lanka still have possession. They're buzzing around like bees at the moment, but it won't make any difference. My goodness me, it's going to be Sri Lanka's... Uh, well, they've missed that one. It's going to be Malaysia's pickup. I tell you what, it's getting quite vicious there. Did you see the way that that one went to... Uh, yeah, it is. Over um, the top. I think Tajini is um, a bit... She's retaliating the physicality from um, the goalkeeper. Yeah. But um, it is very important that the umpires actually picked it up so that to prevent further injuries from happening. Well, that's lovely play. And immediately, Karishma makes it. It's 19-20. And the most important thing here is that Malaysia have, again, they have that uh, possession. Ah, really good reach. Lovely reach. And good conversion. 20 all on the back of that uh, frustrating leap that uh, fail from Tajini at the other end. This is a really good battle, less than 10 minutes left. So you can see that for this quarter onwards, there's a lot of physicality, a lot of body on body. So it really takes one to train um, their core to make sure they remain stable while taking the ball. Still going to be Sri Lanka's 21-20, but Malaysia can keep pace if they can uh, find this 
Yeah, it's a nice playoff. I tell you, they really do work, work well. Very nice, 21 all. Yeah, simple things work well for Malaysia. So that's uh -oh, a, uh, that's a good call. Yeah. So Bro free broke pass. too early. Yeah. Yeah, free pass awarded to Malaysia. So if let's say a player enters the center third before the whistle comes, that's a breaking. Needs to be quick here. Needs her. It's a beauty right on the button, Karishma. Well, one of the things they definitely need is Kar Karishma to be on song. And look at that. Good it's take. a great take. And Najwa makes it 23. Wow, this game is really, really ebbing and flowing. It's fantastic. 23-21 Malaysia after being three points down earlier. It's 22-23, but Malaysia have possession. Nice, absolutely beautiful work. Nice drive along Would the base. And it's going to be Malaysia still. So it's a contact call yep. on the goal defender. Ooh. She needs to nail that shot. That was a big mistake and that could prove very, very important for Malaysia. From that distance, Again, it's simple, it's very straightforward, it's 23 all, Sri Lanka will now get possession. Oh, lovely take. The linking, the speed of linking has been very good for Malaysia throughout this tournament. Looking for support, gets it back and there we go again. She missed one last time and Najwa she won't miss this. Oh, she's done it again, my goodness. Commentator's curse there. Wow. Well, they could be very, very important misses. Over the top, this is not gonna miss. <laughs> she is <laughs> under pressure. Those, uh, the facial expressions of Tajini. But I'm pretty sure Australia has done her some good. At least it prepares her for those hard knocks that she's going to receive from the keeper. Malaysia definitely needs this attack nailed. Are you going to play it off or is she going for go? Yeah, well, it's a little bit brave after the two misses she's just had. So 24 all. Sometimes when the shooter keeps missing, all she has to do is to put up the next shot and the confidence will come back. Hmm. It's still going to be Sri Lanka's. Nigel has obviously got a very close eye on those little moments of contact underneath the basket. 25-24, Malaysia in possession. That was a nice opening yeah. by Mei Fong. Yeah, she's a good player. Getting physical inside the shooting circle of Malaysia. So contact call by Yanni, one of the IUA umpires in Singapore. Karishma makes the, uh, the shot and 25 all. Coming forward again up to the, uh, the attacking third and easily in 26-25. Oh, and that was... A miscom? It was miscommunication. You've never done that, have you? Ever. Um, <laughs> I your, can't do that. In your 10 <laughs> years of playing for Singapore. If I ever done that, I'll be scolded by Premala Hirubalan. <laughs> on the other end. Dear Prem, my goodness. Yeah, she never talked to you again. Wow. Well, after giving you a mouthful of something. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? So it's a contact call yep. against Fariha again. I thought that her defensive effort was really great. 
as for now. Yeah, 27-25. Sri Lanka have possession. This could be a significant moment in the match. Oh, that's a really good turnover there for Malaysia. And again, looking for support. Finds it out wide. Inside is An Najwa. Here she is. Misses. Oh my goodness, overplays that one. That was a crucial, crucial attack. Three times now she's had the, the goal at her disposal. And that is Malaysia's great work. Oh, it's always been given back. <laughs> this is for 28. Made it. 28-25. Malaysia have it again, but they've only got themselves to blame here, I think, fun, haven't they? They've had their chances in attack, and they haven't taken them. The movements right now are actually pretty great by the goal shooter. They just have to sing in the shots, and yes, she does it. An Nashua. 26-28. It will be a good time to regain possession here, Malaysia, but it's not going to happen. It's so, so simple. 29-26. Who's going to break? Good ball. May Fong has it. So just some readjustment by the umpires. Sure. It's going to be Sri Lanka's and again that Malaysian attack. The Malaysian attack is toothless at the moment. They've missed three out of four. So rather patient in the Sri Lanka's attack. They're trying to slowly bring the ball in. But the moment it ends up in the goal third, it is very, very difficult for the defenders to actually intercept it. That's for sure. Oh. There's, a, there's almost two heads difference in the height of Tajini. She's got it for 29, 29, 26. A little under two minutes left in the second uh, quarter. Oh, wait. What was that call? Oh, sorry, I didn't catch it. Okay. Um, well, let's say that was some uh, contact there. Oh, a lovely Just some intercept. Fumbles. Yeah. There's a lovely intercept there by Dulangi. One and a half minutes. Over the top, it's still going to be Sri Lanka's. So it should be a tight game. Malaysia is ranked 25th in the world, while Sri Lanka is ranked 26th in the world. Certainly should be, but at 31-26, Malaysia have only got themselves to blame. They've got into positions very, very well in attack. They've missed three or four really, really makeable Shots. Sri Lankas are actually using their high advantage, putting their hands up and forcing a lot of passing errors. And Najwa needs that. We are talking about 36 seconds now. Easy opportunity for Sri Lanka to make it 32, but whoop. Still, quick ball in. Ooh, that was unlucky too. So here we go. It was a late challenge by the goalkeeper. Yeah. Picked up by the umpire. 32-27. Malaysia have the ball. They need to score here. Nine seconds. Watch out. And that's what the goalkeeper is looking out for. The high lot that she's good at. 2-1. That will be enough. There's the Hooter. After 30 wow. minutes, Sri Lanka are five well, goals ahead. The score is 32 27. Of missed opportunities for, for Malaysia. They were in the lead at the end of the first quarter, but at half time, Sri Lanka have uh, redeemed themselves significantly.
they are leading by 32 points to 27. And you have to say, the Malaysians could have done a lot better around the attacking uh, circle. Yeah. So I feel that the shooters may just need to have that confidence to put in the shot. Otherwise, everything is fine, actually. Right. Half time is reached. Sri Lanka in the lead by five.
Right, second half, Sri Lanka left to right on your screen. And there have been a few substitutions going on. Looks like uh, Malaysia We've got uh, Ashwini back at goalkeeper. Nafara comes in at wing attack. Shafaz Liana goes into wing defence. Az Azila goes into uh, goal defence. Centre now is uh, Meifong. So, so Malaysia has yep. brought in a taller keeper. Yep. Well, that's worked. Yeah, that will be a morale boost for her. Yep. A relatively raw player. 18 years of age. And she has nine caps so far. Quite aggressive, but it's always good to see real effort trying to regain possession. The turnover is such an important element of the of the sport. It's taken for granted that you're going to be uh, into a great position, and uh, there she converts once again. 35. Was it allowed? So the umpire is actually telling the keeper that she's not allowed to put her hands on the shooter's eyes because it will block the vision. Mm. Okay, 35-27. So, three goals scored by Sri Lanka without response in this third quarter. Malaysia have a chance here with uh, Najwa and um, Najwa. 28, they've got on the scoreboard in this third. Do you notice that Tajini, she loves the right side of the court. So she has been taking it from the right of the goal circle. Yeah, speed is what they've been known for. And that is a nice finish for 29. Now this to get it back within that five range that they had at the half time. This is pretty crucial, I feel, because um, just now it started off with a 3-0 to Sri Lanka and now it's 3-2. So by putting in this goal, it will be a level between the two teams, but... Didn't happen. Yep. Yeah, it's a nice quick, quick play. Really good. Very good. Three, 36. Thirty-six, twenty-nine, Sri Lanka. They have dominated uh, that attacking circle, of course, but that was a really good turnover there for Malaysia. Their fast, fast hands. We just good work. And once again, Malaysia will get the ball, and it looks like Karishma. No, oh, well, in fact, and Naj Najwa makes it this time. 30 points to 26, and it will be again Malaysia's ball. Turnovers win matches, there's no question about that. You're expected to put the ball in. That is a really ambitious and a crazy pass. There's not much difference in height. It Re is. Really put pressure on uh, Anajwa. Yeah, I wonder why she actually put it in, because the keeper is just next to her, and she is taller than Anajwa. Yeah, that was not very clever thinking by the 18-year-old. I think she showed her immaturity right there, did Karishma Loganathan. On the other hand, 37 points to Sri Lanka now. And they've got possession back again. So with that uh, poor, poor pass... Too Mal easy. Yeah, Malaysia put themselves under enormous pressure. As a goalkeeper, you really want your defence, you need to put out a lot of pressure to prevent that bullet train pass from coming in. That's better, that's better, but that was much more focused. That was a really good pass. That is a poor shot, but fortunately, she managed to uh, move first. <laughs> she could feel it was going off and went actually to rescue the situation, which she did well there. 
Uh -huh. So that was quite a good try by the goal goalkeeper. Her footwork to go out and coming back in. Impressive. Contact call against the wing defence of Sri Lanka. So Malaysia really needs the turnover now. Well answered by Fariha, wing attack of Malaysia. Love her defensive effort, but now they just have to put this in. Too close attendance there by Dulangi. So I feel that An, she actually can hold the position a little bit longer just now. A big breath before that shot from Karishma. Certainly needed that. 32-39 Sri Lanka. Some lovely running into space there by Gayan Jali. Over the top. It won't count. It's going to be Sri Lanka's again. Oh, that was a good fake by the goal attack. 40 points to 32. Uh, that was telegraphed as well. It's very difficult. There's the captain, Shavazli. As ill is uh, wing defence now. She's moved uh, over from the goal defence. Different areas, of course, that um, each player can operate in. This is uh, Karishma. It's a little far away, two and a half metres. She'll try it. No, she won't. Plays it, decides to play it in, and then it's easy conversion by Anna Najwa. 33-40. It's time now to really put up a battle. It's still going to be Sri Lanka's ball. Oh, no, gone the other way. Gone the other way. That's interesting. Right, so that's a good turnover. You need two or three of those, and you can get back on level terms. Malaysia, very crucial at the moment. Oi, and another error. What's that? Looks like I didn't really see it. Was focusing on the other side. Okay, 41 33. Malaysia had their chance, couldn't take it. Earning the turnover is such an important element, but then you must convert your chance. Eight points, just four turnovers. They should level up. So both shooters are forced to go out of a circle. Yeah, that's good from distance. A little bit like Charmaine likes to shoot from that kind of distance. She doesn't like it right under the uh, net. Charmaine, we're going to be seeing a while, of course. Singapore will be playing Hong Kong right after this. So it's the umpire's call. No change of ball, is it? Yeah, probably the ball mm. is wet by all those perspiration. Mm. Here we go again. Malaysia looking to try to put pressure on. That's no good, but it's, uh, well, it was uh, Malaysia's ball retained. Good concentration there. She was being distracted, was Karishma, but uh, again, does well. 35 42. They need this one. Desperately need to pick up uh, one of these attacks. Uh huh. <laughs> that was quite a far uh, pass. A long pass and a predictable end. 43-35 now. 
That's a quick one-two between the center and a goal attack. Very effective, especially when the defenders are all the way back. Karishma, she continues to uh, hit a good percentage. Oh, here we go. This is a changeover. Seems like it's a breaking call. Yeah, just a little bit early. Ooh. Uh, she was a bit lucky to get away with that. Yeah, it is. 43-36 and Malaysia have possession only just looking to try to get that's okay that's in real comfort zone there 37-43 cutting the deficit back and have, can take it even further back if they make this one Ooh. nice okay, triangular yeah, play that was, was very good yeah Simple and effective. Yeah, excellent. And it's in for 38. They're back to where they started in terms of this uh, third quarter. But they have given up possession at the center. Now they need desperately to try and take it, but they won't. Now, it's a controversial thing. Just tell me, Fun, if you, if you used your goalkeeper to get off the back of your goalkeeper in order to get the extra height as a goal defender. Could you do that? Of course you can. Um, Why don't they? Well, we, the Singaporeans, we did that before. Um, it was displayed in World Championship 2011 between uh, Mickey Lin and Premela Hirubalan. Uh -huh, Premela being the stronger one, actually lifted uh, Mickey. Yep. And then and, uh, sh they did deflect the pass into Tajini's hands. But um, for this lift, you can't use it when the ball is going in to the ring. So it's considered goal tending in this case. Okay, but in that scenario, when, when this ball is being passed in a loop towards mm. the goal shooter, yep. surely the two of them could get together and prevent the ball getting to this huge Tajini. Like that, for example, if they were two together, a, strateg a strategy that I would have employed, I'm a rugby player, okay? And in the, uh, the line-out, in order to get higher than everybody else, we can actually use each other's body. Yeah, they can, but I guess it takes a lot of practice. And um, it's not easy because you really need a stronger base. And when you lift the person up, the person must be also confident and be tight as a whole. But you have to come up with some kind of concept to to counter the extraordinary advantage that Sri Lanka has at the moment. Tajini Sivalingam is woman mountain, not yeah, even man is. mountain. So what have you got to do? It's uh, something that everyone is accepting without trying to do anything about it, within the rules, of course. Yeah, of course. So probably what the defense actually can do is actually to stop the ball from even entering the goal turn. So. What strategy I think will be sound is actually creating turnovers just before it goes into the goal turn. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah, it's not are. working. You know, 46, 38, it's not working. So do something else in order to win, <laughs> in order to win the match. That's good. I mean, that's very, yeah, very that's solid. And that's 39, 46, but it's still a seven point difference. Less than two minutes left in the quarter and unlucky that for uh, Chef Asliana. Again, there you go. Mm. Mm, contact call. Yeah, it was. Hand on. <laughs> it's been given. 47. 47.39. I mean, obviously, she is such a phenomenon. And uh, I have to say that the strategy needs to develop. The coaches need to develop a strategy to counter it. Obviously, preventing the ball going in is one thing. Actually, yesterday, Sindhu from Singapore, she managed to take um, two intercepts off from that kind of pass. Yep. So what she did was she actually stayed off the shooter. So it doesn't allow the mid-court to have a gauge of how high they should pass. And when the pass is coming in, she runs on and gets that pass. Okay, well that was a strategy that did work for uh, Sindhu Nair. But uh, hey, there is, a, there is a time when you think, goodness me, 
How is anyone ever going to counter this? And uh, with less than one minute left in the third quarter, 40 seconds in fact, left seven, seven goals the difference. Make this eight if she converts this one. She doesn't like it at a distance. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. still Malaysia's ball. And it will be Malaysia's. They need desperately to get this forward. Come on. They still have enough time. They have enough time, that's for sure. Good. They could have so just heaved it into the uh, into the circle, but it didn't happen. Nevertheless, day. six points now the difference. It was five at half time, so only a single point magazine. improvement for Sri Lanka, Smiling which I think we have to say is an improvement queen. on the situation for oh, the Malaysians. It's going to be a tough call, but they'll certainly be in it at the end. 48-42 in, in favour of Sri Lanka. Yeah, a different city every night. Oh, I, I swear the world better prepare for when I'm a billionaire. Yeah, I would have a. Right, it is the final quarter of this very important matchup, Malaysia versus Sri Lanka. It's come down into danger zone again, and is missed that one, but again to get its chance. 49-42. Malaysia have possession at the center. Oh, just tipped off a Sri Lankan player there, goal defender. Both teams haven't lost any game since the start of the tournament. So winning this game will continue their winning streak. And of course, it will boost their morale up for the next 
few games. Yeah. Right, Malaysia have possession. Oh, and that's not very good. Again, that's the second big mistake we've seen from Karishma, giving up possession. That's a crucial area as well. She's probably thinking that the goal defense has lost her position upon jumping in the air. But man, she is so agile. Long ball, easy ball. It really doesn't take a lot of intelligence to work out. If you put it up in the air, underneath the basket, you're going to find Tajidi. Okay, again, there it is. Not hard, 51-42. We were discussing how to counter it. I tell you, somebody, some coach has got to work out a system because open play is not going to do it. You can have the most brilliant, brilliant ideas to counter it. It's not going to work. That's better. Well done, well done, Anjan uh, Jawa. It, it's very interesting. She's better when she hasn't got a time to think uh, yeah, at the like shooting. It, yeah, huh? if you see her hesitate, yeah. usually the shot doesn't go well. Oh. Fifty-two forty-three. Malaysia still in possession, but struggling at the moment to make it all come good. That was a nice run from the base up to the middle. Yeah. So the middle of the circle is actually one of the best range to shoot from. Fifty-two forty-four, and uh, some solid build up work here and again it's over the top it's so so i hesitate to say boring but you know what i mean it's so same same summer summer <laughs> Apa ini. so Ayo. i would love to see the goal attack to put out some shots from the sri lanka side um yeah get her involved but again the present situation why would you want to do that? You lost the first trying to do that. The first quarter, you lost it by two. and should have lost it by four. But since then, of course, it's all the simple, straightforward to uh, Targini. It's the easiest. There you go. It's the easiest way. Why would you change a winning formula? 54-45. It's not great for the other spectators, I have to say. But sometimes um, it's good to share your shooting load just in case one of the shooters um, get injured or not in the form. But of course, at this case, Tajini looks like she's still doing pretty well. Pretty well? That's Very well. an understatement, <laughs> young lady. Come on. But nobody can <laughs> miss from that rim. That's right. You can't miss. You're so close to that rim. Normal... Normal players of netball. Oh dear, that's a really poor piece of play. Yeah, so the goalkeeper, she was actually with uh, Ann Nashwat, but came off to go for that pass at the circle edge. So now on the screen, uh, we are seeing an uh, injury, no, injury timeout. So yeah, it looks like it. Adaha coming in as wind defense for Malaysia. Yeah, that's the captain that's gone off. That's uh, Shaf uh, Shafazliana has gone off. So it looks like they want to um, boost the height at the mid-court defence. Nuru Adaha, 71 cap. Fifty-five, forty-five. He told me that Targini was playing in 2012, is that right? Yeah, she did. Was she as good then or oh, were you better? Um, I guess it's not about who is being better, but I feel that back then, um, she still considered a bit raw. She was easily taken off the ball, I guess. But yeah. uh, on that occasion, of course, doesn't matter how much, you can't do it illegally. That is the big problem that all the oh. players are having. Mm. It's going to be Malaysia's ball. The, she hasn't missed many. I mean, she's still well into the 90% success rate. Malaysia 
They've left it all a bit late. Less than 10 minutes left in the match. 55-45. And uh, some lovely little play there. Down by uh, Nurul Ada. Plays it off, but a little lucky. But uh, it will come now with uh, An Najwa again. And... Uh, Very good piece of play by Malaysia. They're working hard. They're certainly not going to give up on this one. That's for sure. Do we? Oh, they're very lucky. Malaysia retain it. This time Karishma makes it. It's 47. Will overall score uh, count for anything? in terms of the number of points scored, if we are leveled up in the round robins or not? I would think that if, let's say, there's any draw in the game, the goal for and go against um, will make a difference. That's, so that's why it's important that Malaysia don't just lose heart here. They've got to keep fighting to the end. Yeah, so to score as much as possible. Yeah. And of course, I think it makes a difference in the team morale too. Like, if you know that you didn't lose by too much and the yeah, next yeah. time you're going to meet them again, yeah. um, at least you have the faith. Yeah. There's a possibility they will meet again then. Yeah, they will. In the semi-finals or finals. So and maybe like in a nasty sprain yeah, that at Anashwa. I think she's going to have to uh, recover here. Okay, well, she's getting to her feet, which is good, but... Uh, once again, Karishma. So when a player it. calls for injury timeout, she has to leave the court within 30 seconds. Okay. And that position has to be replaced by someone else. Although she can come back at later stage, of course. Yeah, she can. Doesn't look as if she's going to, though. That's a big blow. If Anne Najwa's uh, twisted her ankle, she doesn't look comfortable. And that is a very big problem. So... And much. So Nora Shikin coming in as um, goal shooter for Malaysia. Um, she is one of the familiar face when it's um, Singapore versus um, Malaysia's game. She's actually the main shooter during um, 2015 SEA Games for Malaysia. Right, well 2015 was here in Singapore. Yeah, course. it is. I was playing. No, oh, there you go. You had a lovely time here in this stadium. Yeah, with you commentating. <laughs> so first shot by Nora, Nora Shikin. First shot, first uh, win there for uh, that little moment. Hey, over the top. They really don't want to shoot, do they? Isn't that extraordinary? GA is uh, Hasita Mendis. And I don't think, well, it's no wonder she's got a high percentage. Yeah, so far she's at zero <laughs> attempt. <laughs> that is a high percentage. Here we go. It's for 50. She's made it. Hooray. Karishma has made it 50. Sri Lanka still have an eight point advantage. Oh yeah, well played, lovely. That's now that has made a big difference. Now do not leave it, do not panic. There you go. There's lots of opportunities developing here, Malaysia. That's out of play. Oi, well that is hard to take, isn't it? Immediately lost it. Chest to chest pass into the circle doesn't work out. Not bad transition that is it? Yeah, too <laughs> open. Ah oh dear. 59-50. Just shows when you lose possession and you're behind in the scoreboard. Such an important. This is from two and a half meters out. It's another good one. Good girl. Norashikin. Kamal Zaman. Fifty-nine, fifty-one. Just a little over five minutes left. I think that is uh, Malaysia's ball. 
Good effort yeah. by Fariha. Yeah, very nice. Oh, what's that? Oh. What was that? So it's a oh, dear. That was a huge, again. huge problem there. And again, as a coach, you just go tear your hair out. Yeah, turnovers are very important. Oh. They can change momentum. And we should capitalize yeah. on it. This is for 60. Way and was that uh, stepping steps? Call. Yeah. Don't call it stepping anymore. Come on, what they, they call and, and something else, don't they? Call yeah. Call? yeah, footwork or I don't know. It's still called stepping. Is it stepping? Yeah. Okay, all right. Gee, every time I come here, I hear a different story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. Well, out no, 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 yeah. Oh dear, it's all good though. We know exactly what we mean. <laughs> 59-52, and, and uh, Malaysia have the ball back again. Less than five minutes, in fact, just over four minutes. A quick ball in will do. Oi, back again in shooting areas. Karishma makes it. This is fun, 53-59. It will be Sri Lanka's ball at the centre. Seems like triangular play is working for the Mal Malaysian shooting side. So they should They've do more They've got it again. It. Excellent work. Long ball will do. There you go. She's right there. So is Karishma. Oh, lovely. 54-59. Malaysia have got it again. We're in for a, sta a, a handstand. A grandstand finish here. Five points different. Yes. Three minutes. No oh, problem. Yes. <laughs> here we go. Good girl, 55-59. It will be Sri Lanka's ball. But the Malaysians have got a lot of support here inside this OCBC arena. There's another big turnover. Oh, it is. Still there. Get a chance because you've got the next possession as well after this one. Ooh, it needed to be quick, needed to be fast, and it will still be Malaysia's ball. Three minutes left. This will be to tie it with two to go because they've got possession. It's still Malaysia's ball. 57, 59 is possible. 56, 59 at the moment. Oh my goodness. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame. We were looking for a grandstand finish here. Unfortunately, it's going to be anything but a grandstand. It's going to be an easy point here for 60. And they make it, and now they've got possession, and that is, uh, what a shame. We were looking at a really, really nail-biting finish. It's not going to happen. But at this point of time, you can see that Sri Lanka team is actually getting the nerves on them. Yeah, there was, uh, there was certainly, look at this ball. <laughs> it's still going to be Sri Lanka's. It came out off the GD there. That was uh, Azila. Is Over the top? No, she's not. Is she? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not. Always why, go to the safe why option. Why change the habit of a lifetime? There you go. 61-56. Less than two minutes left in the match. It's hurry up time for Malaysia. But it's got to be accurate time as well. No mistakes. It's still going to be Malaysia's. And now we... 138, here we go. This is an important one. They've made it, okay. It's Sri Lanka's ball here at the moment. 57-61. No, Ashikin came in very nicely without much pressure. I thought she's the one who actually changed Oi. the momentum of the game. The, it's been changed. Here we go. This is still going to be a grandstand finish. And uh, once again... Oh, oh, oh. But she gets her own yeah, rebound. Nora Shikin makes it. It's 58-61. One minute left. It's going to be Malaysia's Quickly. ball. Malaysia's ball. It only takes one mistake here. Still Malaysia. One big mistake. Less than one minute left. Come on. Let's get the ball in play. Long ball is good. She won't miss this. She's made it. It's Karishma with a 59-61, 41 seconds left. It's going to be now Sri Lanka. You need possession here, Malaysia. Desperate, desperate. It's still going to be Sri Lanka in possession. 34 seconds left. 
and counting down over the top that's all it needs over the top oh they're keeping possession it will go over the top not yet they're holding on and there's the shot at goal. First <laughs> goal of off. the match. <laughs> John first goal. Ay, 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 ay. Well, you have to say well done to Sri Lanka for keeping possession for so long. That's a long ball. Great Good take. take. Uh, Got to make it. It's out. But one more, but the hoot is going to go. That's it. Ah! Wow, lovely. And that is the game. The, the score is 62-59 to Sri Lanka. To catch up at a crucial time. It was a good match. We really enjoyed that. We philosophized about uh, trying to counter Targini's uh, height and advantage in the, uh, the shooting area. The goal shooter was phenomenal once again. She ultimately gave Sri Lanka the, uh, the win, but hey, it was a fantastic uh, matchup, 62-59, and guess who scored the final uh, goal for the, uh, for the winning team? Hasida Mendes came through, and on her own, with her own discretion and her own choice, she put the final basket in for Sri Lanka. Good match though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I thought that the introduction of Nora Shikin was quite uh, timely. She came in and put in um, crucial shots to allow the Malaysians to in the last quarter. They are still going to be a force to be reckoned with Malaysia. They lost by three, but there's still a long way to go in this competition for the M1 Asian Netball Championships 218. Don't go too far from your sense or your computers because we've got Singapore against Hong Kong coming up in just a while. Congratulations, Gani, to you and your team for the very exhilarating performance. What a match. Now, coming into this game against Malaysia, you know that it's a show you really need to win the game. Now, what was the game plan? Uh, like, uh, we were planning to uh, play our normal game because uh, we have the tallest shooter in this, like, this tournament. So, she was the main uh, focus for us. So I think uh, that was our game plan, to play normal, the Sri Lankan game, that's it. All right, now you guys did very well actually for three quarters, quarter after quarter, you guys were extending your lead, but came into the fourth quarter, Malaysia actually caught up and actually closed the gap and I guess gave you a little bit of a scare. What happened in the fourth quarter? 
Yeah, I think uh, we got a little bit struggled in the last quarter because uh, we were keep the lead like uh, those three quarters. But the last quarter was like uh, they were came to the game and just we just struggled. That's the thing. But you guys came out victorious, so it's a relief for you guys. Congratulations once again on your win. Thank you very much for stopping to talk to us. Go have a well-deserved rest. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is first of the two cup group games that's happening today. Later on at 7 p.m., Singapore will play against Hong Kong. Thank <laughs> you.